All right. So let's find out if it can compile, right? So build it. So build this. So um, as you can see, so now instead of FLTK handling everything, the callbacks are handled by our own functions. And even more so, we do get access to our window through the extra parameter that we're given. And even more so, we now say, OK, if that's so, let's get our window back and let's actually update the, the, the label. So Control F5, run it, start, print start as a title, stop, now print stop as a title on the window. Right? So both buttons are operational. The title gets updated, and we get that. OK, so uh, that uh, little thing did work. Um, questions? I know there may be a lot of questions, but maybe something specific that sits in the back of your mind that you want to ask. I understand there's lots of coding invo involved, and, and it looks a little scary. But you know, if, if I kind of resize it to normal font size that you normally have at home, you know, it's not that much of a code. It's, it's manageable. You can, you know, maybe a bigger font looks a little scarier. And again, my classes, I think, is, is uh, still quite manageable. It's not horrible at all. Well, yes, I have a constructor. I have a, uh, I have a function name show. And I have those two really weird functions, two static functions, they, that receive from the operating system. They're capable of receiving those not notification that someone clicks on a button. And then, of course, I have the implementation file that defines all of this. My constructor, by the way, does absolutely nothing at, the point, at this point. So, um, well, I think um, it's time to take a break, right? So let's take a break. And after the break, uh, we can add uh, a uh, little timer to just so that we cover the timer so that you know how animations may be implemented in graphical user interface type of applications, right? So let me just uh, save this recording as 